What's up, Technobo here for Surfer Pro, and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Light Cleaner. Light Cleaner is a simple plugin that helps combat glitchy light zones that lead to strange, darkly lit areas and combats lag due to clients regenerating light zones. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, search for Light Cleaner, install the version that's compatible with your server, and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. Keep in mind that the plugin also requires the BK Common Lib plugin to work properly. You can see what plugins you already have installed by going to the Install tab under Plugins. Dark lighting can be found all over, in caves, canyon walls, in the nether, and even underground. While it's hard to spot, when you do eventually encounter one, the chunk's lighting will regenerate, leading to some performance loss for you and everyone else who runs into this area, especially in the nether and extreme biomes. After the plugin is installed, it fixes light calculations in new chunks as they're generated and works proactively. Although, this plugin doesn't run retroactively by default. In order to make sure lighting is optimized in existing chunks, you'll need to run some commands. Slash clean light regenerates lighting for all the chunks that you can currently see. Slash clean light followed by a number of chunks regenerates lighting in a square around you, stretching from where you are in all four directions by the number of chunks you typed in. Slash clean light world regenerates lighting for the world you're currently in. Slash clean light world followed by a world name regenerates lighting for a given world. We can use world underscore nether for example. Slash clean light abort cancels any ongoing regeneration and slash clean light status checks the current status of repairs. I'll run slash clean light 25 to fix lighting issues within a 51 by 51 chunk radius. 25 chunks to the side, including the chunk that I'm in currently. Then I'll keep running slash clean light status to see progress on the process. When it eventually finishes, it'll say that all operations are completed. These commands only really need to be run once as the plugin can automatically keep lighting optimized for new chunks. This needs to be enabled in the config as it's off by default. Locate the config in the plugin folder. There are a few files here. Mission defaults.yml lets you customize who can run the commands. You should leave this as default, however, op only, as commands only need to be run once. Localization.yml contains text for the plugin to return in chat. Currently, it's very basic and only gives the text returned when a player runs slash help cleanlight. Config.yml is similarly simple, but this is where we need to change some settings. If you'd like newly generated chunks to automatically be cleaned, make sure to change auto clean enabled from false to true. When large world edit commands are run, they can cause lighting errors. Changing auto clean world edit enabled from false to true will automatically fix chunks after world edit commands are run. Min free memory, make sure that the server doesn't run out of memory while the plugin is running, as it does load a lot of chunks concurrently while fixing lighting. Async load concurrency will load this many chunks at once. The default of 50 is a good number. If you're using a multiverse plugin or don't want light cleaner to work on certain worlds, you can add them to the block list here. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!